perfect. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your souls and seal your doom tonight. <laughs> Welcome to an especially spooky episode on the Robin C. Lark channel. I think I used to be more of a spooky person than I am now. Maybe it's age, but I'm getting soft. Do you guys remember any of the masks in this? It was the last time I did a Halloween video. Halloween bunny costume paper mache mask DIY tips. What a title. Today for this Halloween themed special, I figured we would try to do a thing I haven't done in many years, which is making spooky drawings. Have you ever tried making something scary or spooky? It's not that easy. There was a time when I liked to draw kind of creepy things. Today, I'm gonna show you some of my older creepy drawings and then we're gonna get into making a new drawing, see where that takes us. I'm a painter, so that challenge enough to draw is kind of spooky for me. Should we just call the challenge good? It's very appreciated if you are subscribed, like the video, and you can check me out on my social media links at Robin Sealark across the board. And uh, enjoy this video. Welcome to the voiceover. We're gonna start by showing off some creepy illustrative work before we get into creating some new spooky stuff. See that, see that hand poking out? Years ago, I was interested in writing an illustrated book about good and evil, light and dark. And this is the land that I came up with. It's shaped like a leaf with four main kingdoms that each have their own light source and then is split up by this river system that connects each of them. And in these dark areas is where the darkness lives along with a bunch of creatures. I thought about having all the different characters be mashups, animals and humans. They're meant to be coming through a dark portal. So that's why we have some creepy guys. This would have been one of the good characters, kind of inspired by Peter Pan. Here we have a, a woodland llama inhabited by faces. This is a tarsler mashed up with my dad. I think that they're adorable and creepy. They have the best hands. Okay, I'm not sure how you pronounce this. These are both based on the proboscis monkey, but I had two different designs. Same with this one, just mixing and matching those bodies. Some cute little leafy babies. There'll probably be some combination of cute and creepy in what I'm making today. I mean, I don't want to go like gore or more monkey hybrid <laughs> images. A couple side characters. Love those long skinny legs. What is it about long skinny legs that is just so creepy? Here we go into some dark pen drawing. He's probably my creepiest fellow. The joints in his fingers and that face. These orbs are something that I recurrently used to draw with the drop shadows coming back off of them. Uh, and last of all, these aren't that creepy, but they're just kind of inspired by that whole theme. Got this image of a woman's torso worked into a tree with a raven in the foreground. A lady of the sea coming up for the full moon. And lastly, this beautiful peacock. Yeah, so that's that. A little inspo to get us going. Aww. Did I make these in 2013? Okay, what are we gonna make? New things. I created a board so that I could have reference images to work off of, so let's see how we get into sketching. All right, I don't know if you guys know this, but I am actually not much of a drawer, so I need to get warmed up, and uh, you're gonna have to bear with me. Do you have a good eraser? I would always recommend a good eraser, because these things are the worst. Let's start with the face. His eyes go across here. My eyes look to be here and here. Beautiful lips. I'm gonna try to keep it somewhat referential to reality, but it'll go more illustrative. You know what? Let's give him a little hood. <laughs> There's a start. Let's warm up with another one. You're an angry cat, aren't you? All right, all right. Let's try another little warm up. A rabbit face for this one. You know, you're cute, but I know you're up to something. I think I wanna stick with animals and maybe do some humanoid things, but do a mashup. Okay, I have decided to base my composition at least 
hopefully, if this goes well, around a hairless baboon. It's got these really deep set eyes. And then have it go into a skinny ankle that goes up into our calf muscle. Chest, chesticles right here. Accentuate that brow bone and maybe have some necks coming out from behind him. Let's put some masks in here. Compositionally, I just don't like that bottom region of this. What could I do? I suppose I can erase them. I don't like it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I gotta just start over. I don't like it. Okay, I, I was thinking about my family cat, Pepper, and he was looking, he always has a creepy look on his face, and I think I want to make him the center of my composition. I've got a little bit of a sketch already on here of his face, and I'm gonna build off of it, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Pepper, you are my muse. Come through for me. I think I wanna make him like crossing his paws and then have different animals blooming off of him. Maybe we could give him some skeletal hands. Two, three, four. Tiny cat knuckles. Tiny cat human knuckles. <laughs> it's cracking me up. More creepy than I intended them to be. Nope, hate them. Can't do it. I'm making up the hands from scratch. I'm making up the hands from scratch. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> making a gazelle first. I'm going in on these ones, I'm committing, so whatever it comes out like is what it comes out like. An evil pepper with his gazelle minions. I love it for him, it would be great. We have all these deer that live in the yard, they come hang out, eat everything, and uh, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from these gazelles. I used to think deer were kind of spooky when I first moved to Utah for school and would go driving at night and just see them out in the car lights. They've got those long skinny legs. It looks like I want to throw in a kind of spooky looking pig. Can I give him tusks? Let's do that. A tusk. And another tusk. Let's throw in this weird animal that I've never seen before today, which is equipped with a great skinny neck. I gotta say, an unexpected thing that I liked about this project was looking up animals that I hadn't heard of or seen before. I did double check that this was not just a photoshopped animal. I do want to put in some of those masked characters that I had on the last composition. I like the face variation on this from the last composition. I'm into those eyes. It's a good move. <laughs> Pepper and his fabulous demon pets. Create a little definition in that background. Darken some areas between our clusters of creatures. Mm -hmm. I had a fish down here. That would be cool. There was a girl I went to school with, Madison Colvin, who would do clusters or swarms of bugs, crabs, layered foliage. And looking at this, I'm starting to get those vibes. It's like things are layered over each other and, you know, how do you fill the space? What do we do? I want to do some creatures that are a little more detailed and some that are easy go-tos, so the masks are good for that, and I like the fish as an easy go-to again, because these gazelles are great, but the fish are a good way to cluster in the space, fill it out a little bit. This is going to be the final stretch of things. I think after I get all of my creatures on here, I want to just up the definition a bit, put some black paint on the background, and then do some shading 
to segment the image a little bit more because right now all of the animals feel like they're on one plane and I want it to have a bit more dimension. I want Pepper to be more prominent. So I need Shadow to kind of cast over everybody behind him. And maybe I can make the figures seem layered by doing that. And then it, maybe it'll look finished with that. Heck yeah. This is how I came out. <laughs> what do you guys think? I hope you all enjoyed this spooky special today. If you did, make sure that you are subscribed, like the video, and check me out on my social medias at Robin Sealark. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.